Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room, like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke seen students in need of an extra file for potions, stumble upon the room filled with them, you seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it lot. by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have a lot. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can oh be used God, to decorate the space Oh my God, I should have done this before I created it. all that. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell.
Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Yes. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? It looks Deep. very like you Gryffindor. Mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deek this bit of magic some years ago. Deek thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deek when you're ready. I like this one. <laughs> I love it! Is it snowing in here? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the <laughs> Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. <gasps> oh my god. You guys. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. 